a brush, a makeup brush. Got the voicemail. You ready? Hi, Sharon. It's I just wanted to let you know I did get your blood work results back from this morning, and we did get a really nice, strong, positive first pregnancy test. Um, so the HCG or pregnancy hormone level came in at 777. So it's a really good first starting number. So we're very excited about that. Um, so we want to see you back on Wednesday to repeat blood work again. Ideally, we'd like to see that number double at that visit. Um, and make sure that you stay on all of your estrogen and progesterone. If you have any questions or if there's anything I can help you with, feel free to give me a call back here at the office. Thanks, Sharon, and have a good day. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys heard the big news, so I wanted to give, be honest with you guys and say that I have known for a couple weeks now. I'm still kind of in some shock here that it actually, after seven, almost eight years of trying, I can't believe it. I still don't feel pregnant. <laughs> it's just so surreal. It's unbelievable. We couldn't be more happy. I do. I did take a pregnancy test. I forgot to tell you guys. I did take a pregnancy test. Um, the day before, like not the day before, but the day of my blood test because I felt like I needed to know for my own sanity. So if I did get the blood test results, I didn't want to be losing it. I just wanted to know for me personally, but I wanted to show you guys like this quick little, I don't know if you guys can see both lines and they're both extremely dark. Right now as I'm speaking, I am five weeks pregnant, going closer to six weeks already. I mean, I'm shocked, almost six weeks pregnant. Actually, November 30th, I will be officially six weeks pregnant. Isn't that crazy? I feel like I this just happened. I'm in shock. I mean, how do you feel? I guess that means the kid has a little tail at this point. <laughs> I don't know. It looks... I think that's what the pictures looked like we were looking up. Yeah, we were looking up of like what a six week baby or five week baby looks like. And it, it looks like almost like a little tadpole. It's crazy what it looks like, but um... It's a baby dinosaur. <laughs> so cute. I was so scared to actually listen to the voicemail, but I was like, all right, Sharon, come on, just do it. Just push play and listen. You know, you gotta tell everybody. Everybody in my family was just like, oh my gosh, if she doesn't tell me I'm going to explode. And I was going to explode too. Like I needed to know, but I was scared to know because I really, like, I knew from the pregnancy test that it was positive, but you know, when I went to the doctors and I was talking to her and I said that I cheated and that I took a pregnancy test, she said just because you take a pregnancy test doesn't mean it's actually positive. Sorry guys. She said just because you take a pregnancy test doesn't actually mean that you're positive. She said most likely you are, but she says there are slim chances where she has seen that women take a pregnancy test the day of their test and it wasn't positive and they the blood test was negative. So I think that kind of got me more worried, but we were very fortunate and we were pregnant. So <laughs> And we have the guy's name, so if you guys have any ideas for a girl's name, put it in the comment section because we are curious. We're trying to look up names for the girls, but we already got the guy's name. Do you want to tell him? No, we're going to keep that a secret right, until we time. actually really are getting a lot closer. I know you guys are probably dying to know, um, but we've known about the boy's name from like the get-go, from years and years and years ago when we were actually trying on our own. So <laughs> that the boy's name is like set, set, set in stone. Like we already know what we want for the boy's name, but the girl's name we're having such a hard time. No one in my family, my husband, my mom, my dad. I mean, I'm talking my whole entire family: sisters, brothers, cousins, friends, relatives. Everybody hates this name. Tell me if you like it. Everyone, everyone else hates it. It's Maple Eve. Oh. I'm not. Yes. Yeah. No one loves maple. It's so unique, right? <laughs> but everyone hates Maple Eve. Everyone hates it. You guys don't know it, but we have a last <laughs> name that if you put the word maple in front of it, since it's like an object it's, or it's kind of a food, it would be like a flavor of a food when she would get made fun of like crazy. So <laughs> we can't have it that name. <laughs> but I love it, maple. I mean, you don't know anyone called maple. I mean, so we scratched different. that so and then we had the idea to go with Cora which is unique and kind of cool at the same time. So 
Anyways, nobody likes that in our family, so you guys come up with something. We'll consider it and look at what they are and just put it in the comment section. So help us out. We want it to be unique, but we don't want it to be like, I don't know. We don't want to Snow. call her grass or... Apple. Or... or uh, I don't know, Snow Bunny. I don't know. We don't want it to be crazy, but we want it to be unique too. Because we're, we're kind of like out there. We're not crazy or nothing. Like, we, you know, we go to bed at like 7, right? <laughs> but, um, but we're not crazy people. But we just like, we, this, is so, this is such a special thing for us. Like it is for any couple. But I feel like since we've had to go through so much over almost almost eight years of trying it's just we want her to have a very special him or her we don't know at all but we want them to have a really special name and that would mean a world to us so having your help would mean the world to us too and knowing that you guys were part of that name maybe would be awesome is there anything else that's it that's it anyway guys that's it so <laughs> we just kind of wanted to give you guys the big 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 news and, um, yeah, I think that's all we have to say. Um, if you guys have, if you guys have any questions or anything like that you guys want to ask me, um, oh yeah, quick, quick, um, symptoms and anything else I've been having, yes, I have to take my progesterone for the next 10 weeks. My backside has been killing me. I have to continue the Dell Estrogen also for 10 weeks, so both shots for 10 weeks. So my backside is killing me and they are intermuscular. If you guys haven't seen the actual shots that we did, we'll link it in the info bubble on the top of the screen, so feel free to click that. <laughs> Why, that's it. <laughs> Bye, stay gold. Um, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> her symptoms, if you guys have been really into, if you guys are interested in any of my symptoms, I've been feeling really nauseous, especially at night. I get kind of a really bad upset stomach almost every night. I feel sick, but it could just be from the progesterone. I don't know if it's pregnancy symptoms or not. Hence the reason we have a refrigerator full of ginger ale. Yes. And she's pretty bruised up and she bruises easily anyway, so the shots are really kind of making her all sorts of colors. Oh yeah, my backside is very colorful. It's like the rainbow. Uh, <laughs> anything else? Nope, that's it. Me just being really nauseous and that's it. Other than that, I feel great. No big issues. Oh, and I'm still having like cramping also, but it's not like severe, like oh, uh, blah, blah, but anyway guys, we are going to end up this video and wrap it up. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I hope you guys are excited just as we are and I hope you guys stay with us to watch this whole entire journey of me being, sorry, of me being pregnant <laughs> and getting a big, big belly and we will be videotaping the delivery and this whole entire journey so please stay with us and I hope you guys are excited and we will see you guys in another video. Don't forget to thumbs it up and, and take a guess whether you think it's going to be a boy or a girl oh yeah ha. that too anyway guys uh thanks for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in another video bye guys <laughs>